All right, guys. So here we are in the third and final video. This is the fun video. This is where we get to uh, edit some more content on your site and the images and get things up and running exactly how you want to look at them or how you want them to be. So, uh, so let's jump it right into this. First things first, let's go ahead and edit these main sliders up here. Okay, because as you can see, this is filler text. Does It's not in English. doesn't make sense. So let's show you guys how you can edit that. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to jump into your dashboard and on the left hand side you're going to scroll all the way down and click on master slider okay so when this opens up uh, you can actually go ahead and you can create new slides if you want your own personal slides here and there are some tutorials that will walk you through how to do that and uh, they actually have some templates for sliders to make it real easy for you to fill in content and switch it out and still have it look uh, very professional but go ahead let's just edit the ones we currently have click on SEO agency flat Okay, so as you can see, these are your slides, one, two, and three. So here's the first slide that we're on. And you can see background, video background, video and link. This is if you want to change out what the background image is or what's going on there. But let's just say we want to change this text, guaranteed increase of your website sales. What you want to do is you want to click on the text. And you'll see this little box appears around it. And then you're going to scroll down. And you see here we have layered content, and here is that content. Guaranteed increase of website sales. Uh, maybe we'll just see, say, guaranteed uh, return on investment. Okay, so that's what we're going to say instead. And boom, it switched out up there. Now, if we want to change this gibberish into something that's English, um, again, click on the box. You'd scroll down, and you can change out the text there. Okay, uh, whenever you make changes, you can go ahead and click preview to see how it's going to look officially. And then you'd go ahead and click save changes uh, to actually have those save changes uh, implemented on your site. Okay, so if you scroll up to the top, you can do the same thing for slider two and slider three. Okay, and you just want to switch those out um, to have them, uh, you know, again, so that they're in English and they say something that's maybe more particular to your agency or how you want to differentiate yourself. Okay, so that's how you change the master slides. All right, so let's go back over to our site. If we uh, if we refresh here, we can see guaranteed return on investment now on the home page. So that worked. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to show you guys uh, the um, live editor that comes with this theme. Okay, now this is really really cool. This live ed editor function it literally makes it so that you don't have to go into the back end to edit content. As long as you're logged in, you can actually edit content as you see it on your site currently. Okay, so start by clicking the bottom uh, green button, Activate Editor. Okay, so this is going to turn the Live Editor function on. And what you'll be able to see now is that you can actually hover over any piece of content and you can click on Edit Content. And then this is going to open up what looks like a Word document where you can actually edit the content in here. So we will just say right now, testing, 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 and click confirm. And we just edited that text right there to say testing, testing, testing. Okay, so it's really easy to just go ahead and you hover over, you click edit content. You can also click on this little spoke wheel up here. And that's going to open up some other options down here. So let's just say when somebody hovers over conversion rate optimization, maybe you want this to be a clickable link so that they can click this uh, text right here or this image and that'll take them to your uh, website page that talks further about conversion rate optimization. Now if that was the case, you'd come down here and where it says primary button link, you'd actually add in your link there. So you know, in our case, that might be dynamicseomarketing.com backslash conversion rate optimization. Okay, but that's where you would add in a link so that people can click and it takes them over to that page. And once you make any of those changes, you can click confirm. All right. Again, you can actually edit images here. So this is one big image. If you wanted to edit this image, you'd click on the little spoke wheel. And here is the current image down here. Okay, so we would click remove image. That would go ahead and, and load. Now we have this red box here that says no image has been set. So then you'd come down here, you'd figure out a different image you'd want to use, and you'd click upload image. 
So again, we can use any of these images that are in our, our uh, current media library, or you can go ahead and upload a custom image. Um, so let's just say you want some different images on your site. What we normally use is called bigstockphoto.com. Okay, so we're over here at bigstockphoto.com, and what you can do is you can just come over here and type in SEO. These guys have 21 million um, images that you can go ahead and buy. But if you type in like SEO or whatever type of image you're looking for, these guys are going to have uh, either a vector image or a cool professional looking image like that. You can go ahead and buy an image for, I think they're like 2 or $3 each. If you buy um, a bunch of credits at once, you can actually uh, get a bulk discount. Uh, but yeah, go ahead, browse around, find images that you, you know, uh, that you like and feel would mesh well with your, uh, with the company, with your own agency, and then you come back over here to your dashboard and, and you'd upload that that image. Okay. Um, so in this example, we'll just switch that current image for, let's just use one of the ones that's already in there. Maybe the rocket ship. Now, whenever you choose an image, come over here to the right hand side and and enter in an alt text. And alt text is that's just you want to describe your image with keywords, okay? Now, since we're on the home page and we're going for, um, you know, maybe if we're if we were trying to rank for the keyword Minnesota SEO company, we might say Minnesota SEO company as our alt text here. And an alt text that that's because Google can't read images. So instead, what they do when there's an image on a website is they read the alt text, which is supposed to be about the image. So we maybe should have said rocket. We maybe should have said rocket ship image, um, but we're trying to rank for this keyword. So we're going to do something a little bit more tricky. We're going to say Minnesota SEO company. Then you click confirm. This is going to go ahead and load, and then boom! Now we have our rocket ship image there. But again, guys, this is how cool this live editor is. It makes it so you don't even have to go into the dashboard. You just click and edit. Uh, again, here's this button: learn more about us. So if we wanted people to be able to click this and go to the about us page well we'd hover over this we click the spoke wheel we click confirm and then here's the URL we'd go ahead and put in the page URL to the about us page there and we would click confirm again okay so after you're done making changes on the home page or any one page with the live editor you have to click publish changes and that's going to save all your new settings in the updates that you've made. All right, so pretty awesome how that live editor works. Again, if you want to add in something, so let's just say there's three lines of content here. Let's say we wanted to add a fourth. You could come down here and you can click whether you want to add a title or more content, just HTML text, a post, a blog post, um, a photo gallery. You can just drag and drop and add that in wherever you want on the page and you would go ahead and, and click save okay so after you're done editing uh, a particular page you can click uh, disable editor and confirm and that's just gonna turn off live editor mode so that you're just back on your normal site with it with the current updates the way you have them okay so the next thing we want to do is over here in our navigation bar you can see it says pages that doesn't make a lot of sense uh, that should be like about us okay so let's go ahead and change that in our dashboard here we're gonna come down and we're gonna go to appearance and menus okay now we've we've done this before but we wanted to show you guys again how to do this here's our our navigation menu at the top of our site here's where it says pages we don't want it to say pages uh, we want it to say about okay so this is called the navigation label we're going to change that pages to about. We don't want the link to be disabled. And okay, once we've done that, we'd go ahead and we click save menu. Okay, now if we bounce back over to our site and refresh, you're going to see that the pages has now changed to about, which makes more sense. Okay. All right, so now the very next thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and edit another page. Let's edit the About Our Agency page. Now, once we're on the About Our Agency page, you can see we have a red image that says no image has been set here. We need to edit this. 
Okay, so we would come down to our live editor, we'd click activate. Now we have our live editor mode turned on. And we can scroll up here to where it says no image. We can click the spoke wheel. And now we can come down here to the bottom left where it says upload image. We'll click on upload image. Let's go ahead and choose. Which one are we going to choose here? Let's pick, yeah, let's pick this image of the trophy cup. Again, we'd want to enter in our alt text and then you'd push confirm. That's going to throw in that image there that looks sharp. We'd come over here, we'd push confirm again and now that's saved there. Okay, so that was another example of how to use a live editor. We'll click publish changes to officially make these changes go live. Then we'll click disable editor and confirm and now we've successfully added an image to our About Us page. Now as you scroll down, okay, actually no, we're done with the About Us page for now. Let's go up to the navigation menu. We will scroll over to our services page. Now this is something we just wanted to show you guys. So no image has been set for any of these services. So again, we would, uh, we'll click activate editor. Gonna let that load and we could hover over each one of these click the spoke wheel and we could add in um, an image to go with each one of these services now the thing that we wanted to show you for now is that there's a learn more button or link right here okay and it's currently not linking to anything so it's a broken link so you guys want to fix that immediately so you're gonna hover over this and and what we know you don't have a page built out that just talks about your social media marketing services quite yet. So this learn more button, you probably want that to link over to, uh, you know, uh, one of like the contact us pages. So if somebody's interested in learning more, they'll click and they'll actually end up at the contact us page where they'll, you know, where they'll uh, want to contact you for more information. So uh, what we're going to do is if we're actually here on our site, let's grab the link of where we want people to go when they click on the more about us so we want them to go to request a free SEO analysis alright so we're gonna click this page uh, we're gonna click at the top edit page and you can see here's the link right here dynamicseomarketing.com request a free SEO analysis so we're just gonna copy this link and now when we're back in our dashboard here or, and we're editing the services page, this learn more button, we'll hover over the uh, spoke wheel, we'll click on the spoke wheel, the primary button link, we want it, we're going to copy and paste in our URL to our request a free, uh, as you can see down here, request a free analysis, okay? Uh, we're going to click confirm, and again, we'll do that with uh, this one right here we'll do it twice so you guys can see it click the learn more button we want this to link over to this page request a free SEO analysis okay uh, click confirm and we'll come down here and click publish changes after we've done that let's click on disable editor alright so now we're out of the editor mode now now if we were to come down here and as you can see we didn't update the advanced web analytics learn more button so if I were to click this nothing happens I click it nothing happens we did update these two so if I click learn more on social media marketing boom it's gonna redirect us to the free website analysis page and that's perfect we want people to go over here so potential clients of yours will contact you and you'll have your info and then you can follow up with them and close them as a client okay um, all right, so that is what we have going on there, and uh, let's see if there's anything else we wanted to show you. That's about it for right now, guys. So there's a couple of things you'll notice. Um, again, go to Big Stock Images to get your images to uh, fill fill in some of the blanks here. Now, as as you're editing this site more and more, you may run into different little hiccups here and there where you don't know how to exactly do something that uh, you know maybe you're trying to do. 
We have a couple solutions for you from here. First things first, you're going to want to go over to Theme Forest where you bought your SEO WP theme. Okay, we're going to leave a link. Uh, we're going to leave several links for you guys underneath this video. This is, will be one of the links we leave uh, leave you. But you can click on support. And what you're going to find in support is a bunch of uh, frequently asked questions that are maybe similar to the ones that you have. And then you're going to find actual uh, videos that walk you through how to do something very specifically. So if you don't know how to edit a page, you can click here and watch the interactive tutorial video. If you don't know how to customize and add your logo, well, here's instructions how to do it. If you're not sure how to edit your website footer, you can watch this quick video that's going to show you how to do it. So again, this is an awesome resource for you guys here. The support uh, for this theme is, is five-star support. This guy answers everybody's questions. So go ahead. You can get free help here uh, at support. Now, if you're looking to do some further customization or are really having trouble um, doing something on your own, you can outsource the work of that to a professional agency for a very affordable price. Okay, so what we're talking about here is a company called WP Curve. Okay, and these guys are awesome, um, highly recommended. Basically, for $70 a month, $69 a month, actually, these guys will make unlimited updates to your WordPress website. Okay, so you can click on View Plans, and you'll see for $69 a month, these guys will do unlimited small 30 minute jobs. Okay, so that might be like updating a slider for you, changing out a logo, changing out images, adding in text, adding in a different image slideshow. Maybe if you want to edit uh, something further on your site you don't know how to do, these guys will help do it for you. Uh, what you'd probably want to do here is line up a lot of updates and changes you want to have made. I'll write down about 10 of them. Um, and then what you want to do is you'll pay for one month of service and then every two or three days you'd, you'd give this company another one of your updates that you already have written down and that way you only pay seventy dollars and you'll have the rest of your website uh, customized the way you want it with their support okay so this is a great resource WP curve for all those additional small uh, WordPress changes or hang-ups that you might have alright but that's it guys your site is looking official you have your logo up there you know how to change out the content the images we have the settings and everything uploaded for you for it to be SEO friendly. You have the link structure in place. You have the you know how to add blog posts and you have your blogs all set up. You know how to edit pages. Uh, you guys are up and running with an official SEO agency site. Go ahead and make uh, the additional changes. Remember to update all the content to be unique to your own. And then you're off and running, guys. That is it. So there, that concludes our tutorial um, how to build an SEO agency website in one hour. Uh, let us know what you guys think if you have any questions and uh, we're, we're pumped you guys are you're here at dynamic 365 we'll see you guys in the next round of tips and tricks and we'll talk to you then